definitely the pressure ramps up from from Sunday to Saturday. But the way he handled himself yesterday after dropping a few, like you said, Dom, was amazing. And 44 from 44 inside 10 foot or something like that. Not bad, not bad from Harmon. It's still a little bit of work, though. No problem at all. So it is a part of the opening hole for Brian Harmon. Can I get an amen? That looks good for Harmon. Finds the bright side of the fairway on two. Looks like he's come over the top of that a little bit. That's a long way right. I wonder where that has finished. slope a bit it's going further away from the hole for Harmon not to be it is going to be a drop shot for Harmon back to 11 under so the lead reduced to five Perfect from Brian Harmon on three off the tee. It's a really good result for our leader here. Lots of waggles. How aggressive is the line? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> that looks pretty good because the, the way Jamie described this, this was extremely difficult. So, so tough that is. He's three out of three so far. <laughs> Seems to like that one as well. Another fairway found for our leader. One twenty-three. Can only be a little wet shot for him. That's perfectly played. Aggressive to the hole without taking the risk of going long. The straight ones are tough, aren't they, Jamie? Just looking for something that might not be there. And it was dead straight, wasn't it? But another hole ticked off with a par. Long hitter, but he's buried the fifth hole. All three it's of the heading first left, rounds. Jay. It's heading left towards those gorse bushes. I don't think that one has been as lucky as John Rahm. Mega core! He skirted it past the bunker that grabbed Hovland's ball, so a chance to get up and down. Just a little heavy-handed from Brian Harmon. Is a serious key to this round. Unbelievable. I mean, Rahm, when he hit his tee shot on this hole. That's a 
an extremely good shot. And a birdie two. What a bounce back for Harmon. He just won't go away like a bulldog. Nobody better on the par threes this week. And that will give him a boost of confidence. Sometimes you overcorrect. Yeah, that's good for Harmon. Finds the fairway. Seven. Harmon, 194. It's a better angle. Will he take it on, though? That pin on the left. No need to, really. Hard to the green, 20 feet right, and that is a really smart shot. Well, it's wonderful, isn't it? Back to back birdies for Brian Harmon. He's back where he started the day at 12 under par, and he is back to five in front. Two bunkers up the right. As a lefty, the wind is hitting him in the back, coming from the right. Always more difficult. No difficulty there. Wow. That'll do. Absolutely, that'll do. Bubba Bowie! <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll take that. Excellent effort. Excellent effort. Absolutely drilled it. That's all he needs to do now. Fairways and greens. makes those for fun makes them look easy they're not you're feeling it I don't care how calm you look put the driver come on the long grass on the left of 11 Armin. Armin, second shot on its way here at 11 to the punch bowl, pin right at the back. Safe again, it's working its way in there. That's what it needs to do from now onwards, isn't it? And he's going to chalk up another par, isn't he? And they are not really coming at him out there today. He's doing everything he needs to do, Brian Harmon. He hits the greens, he finds fairways. <laughs> Periods of relief. Harmon from off the green at 12 to get to 13 under par. He's not getting them at the hall now. The wag was getting a little bit more. Find the king and win! Oh, 
This is a bit longer than I, I first thought for Harman, the comeback putt for par at 13. And that is a very rare miss. It's the first time we've kind of seen one week as far as the pace. They've all gone in with wonderful pace. That was kind of just a, oh, please go. He's drilled it, hasn't he, Harmon? Straight down for the tee. That has been the theme. Downhill, this one. Left to right for Harmon. About a foot on it for him. Absolutely brilliant from Brian Harmon. Now Birdie there takes him to 12 under. He's forges back in front. That's another fairway found by Brian Harmon. He's got the belief now. I think he's probably had it all week, but now he's got it. My 15th hole for Harmon. Keep it short of the bunker. He's playing smart. He's a smart player. That's fine. Mm, that's a nice little break. Because you can get into that claggy stuff, right? It's hopped left. He's on the, the crosswalk. What a performance this is. Of course he does. Back to back birdies. Brian Harmon moves it under par for the day. And once again, he is five clear at the front of the field. Heading a little left, I fancy. That's just fine. Not, not many of these greens have a flat area in front that 16 does. And he's just flown it in there. Well done. I mean, that is, that is so good. Just tickle it up close. Thank you very much. That would be rather nicely. Two holes to go. Five shots ahead. of steel what a goal shot all the pre-tournament talk about this hole and how scared everybody was of it and look what he produces Chalked off, one to come. <laughs> Solid as a rock. I think he's done the smart thing here. He went actually short left and didn't even bring that out of bounds right in play. This is extremely smart. Just taking every little bit of pressure off his shoulders. Twenty or thirty feet right of the flag. Try and get it pin high. Oh. Didn't want to miss it left, but 
it's okay, it's okay. Well, he's got a bit of wriggle room, Tony. Quite a lot. Great shot from Harmon. Of course he did. Lovely scenes of celebration. He has displayed great skills and great courage out there, remember. Handling the pressure of leading the Open for 36 holes or fending off some of the world's best players and of these weather conditions as well. And Brian Harmon of the United States is the champion golfer of the year.